Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Yash and today I will show you how to create pop-up view with animation. So this is what I created in my test project. When I hit add to cart, I oh, we see this animation and then it displays us with this new view. And when I press sure, it goes back to its normal state. So let's get started. This is the project which I already created. Uh, which is named pop-up animation and as usual you will get this project file from my website and link to the project file will be in the description so uh, first I will drag and drop background image in assets now I will go to main.storyboard uh, so my main.storyboard is set to like display iPhone X so first we will drag and drop image and place it on the top corner and stretch it all the way to the bottom and now let's give it constraints so this will be zero from top zero from left zero from right and zero from bottom as well and just hit enter now we need to add a blur view with vibrancy so the this one I don't the first oh, we don't need the first one we need the second one so I'll just drag and drop here and I'll make sure that this thing is selected here and I will give it constraints so this will be uh, so I'll just click on this and control drag on image view and I'll select center vertically horizontally center horizontally equal with equal height and add constraints and making sure that the this is selected I'll hit command options equal to so that it uh, goes to its recommended position to the constraint position and uh, so we are good first let's assign image to our image view so it's art you can download any image from the internet and you can click a visual effect view and play around with options so this are a bunch of options you can suit yourself I personally like light now we need a button to display add to cart functionality so I'll just drag and drop it on the view so uh, what if you see here uh, the button is on the visual effect view, so just take it out of that because we want it uh, So okay, what's this view? Okay, we just need the button So I'll just bring the button outside and we are good to go So if you just close visual effect view, you should still be able to see button So make sure button is selected and now let's give it constraints So 20 from top 60 from left 60 from right and a fixed height of 60 as well and hit enter and double click here and we will say add to cart and hit enter uh, now let's give it some effects so font will be custom and I personally like Avenir next and size goes to 25 and text color will be white and uh, no text color will be black and our background color will be white so select this and white looks good and now we need to create a view so first uh, I will find a view so view if you type view view is always at the very end so you can drag and drop it in between but I will uh, drag and drop it on the top so that we get this extra box and nothing is in between uh, we will center this view to with the center of our main view so uh, we don't have to worry about constraints and all that stuff so you can click on view and go to this size inspector I guess uh, yeah size inspector and you can change the width to 230 and let's do 270 and height to 150 and looks good now we need to drag and drop a button as well so we will drag and drop a button in the center of this view so and now let's give that button constraints so it will be horizontal and vertically in container and a fixed height and width so width will be 150 and height will be 75 and hit enter 75 is too much double click on this height thing and change it to 60 and hit enter and this should read save and we will change the properties as well so first click on the background and we will change the background color because it's quite white uh, we can change it to like second white and reduce the opacity to 90% so that we get that uh, feeling of 
a bit of transparency and uh, this should read sure not save and let's change the font type to custom and family will be Avenir next and size will be 25 again to keep it consistent and text color goes to white this time and our background color will be black this time so it's like inverse you know yep so oh we are good to go and we just need to take some uh, actions and outlets so first I'll say add to cart button so add to cart btn then we need sure button as well so sure sure btn hit enter and now we need to uh, we need the view as well so this will be uh, drag and drop here and this will be our final view uh, uh, you can also change the sure thing to check out so. and now we need to take actions of both of the buttons so this will be uh, add to card pressed and change the connection to action and type to UI button and hit connect and we will do the same thing for the sure BTN as well so just click and drag here and this will be sure pressed and this will be action and type will be UI button and hit connect so we are done with the connections and all other parts so let's over to a view controller and change to standard editor so if you remember from my test uh, application that initially our blur effect is not there so uh, we need to change our blur effect to nil uh, initially so i will say oh we forgot to reference our blur effect so i'll just quickly take connection to our blur effect so open this up okay we need this blur effect and now i'll just drag and drop it here and this will be our visual effect and hit enter so now we have the reference to the visual effect and we will uh, set our visual effect to nil so this will be visual effect dot effect is equal to nil and uh, but first of all if before we change the effect to nil uh, we can save our current visual effect so that we can use it next time so this will be variable uh, screen effect and this will be UI visual effect and question mark so and we will change it to uh, first we will say if let effect is equal to visual effect dot effect uh, the reason I'm uh, using optional binding is because this returns UI visual effect question mark so we need to do that and now we will assign screen effect is equal to effect that's it else we will create new effect so screen effect is equal to UI visual effect and uh, open close brackets and that's it so uh, another initial things we need to do is first we need to make our buttons round so add to cart button dot layer dot corner radius is equal to add to cart button dot frame dot height by 2.0 so we do this because it becomes completely round and do the same thing for sure button so the layer dot corner radius is equal to sure bdn dot frame dot height by 2.0 and now uh, we need to add our final view to the actual view so self dot view dot add sub view and here we will add our final view so we will say final view uh, or else we can skip this part so divide by 2.0 and we can give corner radius to our final view as well so final view dot layer dot corner radius is equal to short button 
dot layer dot corner radius so they have a consistent effect and uh, I guess we are good to go so we can run the application once and see how it looks so this is my previous application so just don't mind and here we have it our image is a bit stretched so let's fix that first so close the uh, stop the application art image and this will change to aspect fill so we are good to go now so let's start uh, displaying our stuff when add to cart is pressed so here first we will add our final view to the image view so self dot view dot add sub view and this will say final view and now we will give it some constraints so self dot final view dot center is equal to no center dot x equal to self dot view dot center dot x and for y it will be self dot final view dot center dot y equal to self dot view dot center dot y and minus self dot view I don't know why this happens all the time so self dot view dot frame dot height by 4.0 and uh, this looks good this looks good and we have it on the screen as well and we will say self dot final view dot let's run the application and see how it looks for once and our application is running yeah add to card and we can see it here it looks good but uh, we need the animation right so that it looks more good so first I will say UI view uh, we need a bit of setup so we can animate stuff so self dot final view dot we can actually say final view dot we alpha is equal to zero we start with zero final view dot transform is equal to cj affine transform and we will start with translation so we will make it small 0 0.2 to 0 0.2 and we will like it will be small initially and then it will become big yeah it should look good and yes now we can do the animation so ui view dot animate and with duration let's say 0 0.2 for an animation things we will do is self dot add to card button dot alpha is equal to zero self dot final view dot alpha and this will be one then we will say self dot final view dot transform is equal to cj affine transform dot identity and uh, let's run the application and see how it looks should look good and the application is running hit on add to card and we get the animation and we see this thing as well so it looks fine uh, now we need to do the uh, now we need to do the reverse thing so let's do that and uh, now we will code under this short press thing so here I will again say UI view dot animate and this time we will use animate with duration and we need completion handler as well so for time interval I will say 0 0.4 again and animation what we will do is self dot add to card button dot alpha is equal to 1 self dot final view dot alpha is equal to 0 and that's it and for completion handler I'll just say status and we will uh, remove our final view from its super view so it's our main view so self dot final view dot remove from super view and we are good to go so let's run the application for one last time and see how it looks so if I press add to cart button we see the animation and we have the screen okay the thing we are forgetting is the visual effect so let's see the sure thing works or not so let's do the 
let's change the background to the visual effect so here under UI view dot animator we will say self dot visual effect and we stored the effect so it will be screen effect and here again we will set it to nil so self dot visual effect is dot effect is equal to nil and here we need dot effect as well so dot effect and let's run the application for one last time and what's the problem and yep self and maybe okay here is nil so let's run the application for one last time and see how it looks so I press add to cart we get the effect I press sure it goes back and it works so uh, you may be thinking that like what kind of error is this this is because of some constraint thing so uh, this is not the main problem right now but our main purpose was to do the animation thing so we have it here and if you have any questions you can post them in comments if you like my video thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos until next time